Heidi Bo. Hey, Michael Spahn, we welcome you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good that's, to be here. It's, uh, th that's not the kind of hotel that some of us, or certainly your two characters, used to seeing. What is the birth of these four episodes that you suddenly are with a drug problem, Mr. Spahn? Uh, well, um, I, went to, I went and talked to the producers about uh, ten months ago, and uh, we threw some ideas around, one of which was uh, because of the bar exam. I was going to be getting out of law school and studying for the bar exam, working during the day. And uh, I felt that, especially with the drug crisis the country is going through right now, uh, that a very typical problem for law students is there's not enough hours in the day, especially if you're working. Mm -hmm. And they, a lot of them turn to speed and drugs. And um, I came back from hiatus, and they said to us, uh, it's going to be a four-part episode. And our characters are so so perfect and so nice and yeah, real clean cut and all American departure. and and it's it you know it happens it's I, I love his little nervous gesture as he speaks there's a there's it a wasn't, there was she cleans the lint off of her pants <laughs> so does he does he did he was clean you lint off your pants I, was, I don't know Get did you do right any of the writing of this Michael uh, no I didn't no I didn't the uh, it was just an idea that I, I came up with and ABC and Spelling Productions felt that the idea was so important that you know the problem is is a very real problem and to handle it realistically and honestly they gave us four episodes. Uh, it raises another question Heidi is there a part of these two people that sit before me who think I wish we could do more on that show. I, Connie Selica oh, and, sure. and Jim Brolin they, they, they get to do a lot of things and we're just bell hopping. And, of yeah. course well we are the supporting players and and there are a lot of people on our show the guest stars that come in and out every week and and the six regulars that we have and I mean I would love to do more all the sure. time but it's not possible because and there's so many people so and if it wasn't for them, there probably wouldn't be a show. Right. So we wouldn't have right. the question wouldn't be posed to us. Now, you two have been having an affair going on, what, two or three years? Is that right? Us, the, the characters? No, no, the two of you in real life. The two of us? Mm -hmm. um, have I gotten into trouble yet, Heidi, here? No, no but you're, you're, you're getting you're very close. You're getting close. <laughs> no, we no. have... There's, uh, there's no friends. relationship between no, we're very, you. No, we're very good on air. I, The closest I get is picking lint off her uh, pants. pants, and that's about Once it. Once in a while, I let him go for the sweater, but that's... that's, that's never thought you were falling good. in love with either of... I mean, you do some scenes. You're close. I mean, the first 14 scene. hours a day. The first scene you ever did. It the was first in bed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first scene was in bed. Yeah, it was a very strange day. We got to San Francisco and I said, hi, I'm Michael. Heidi. I'm Heidi. And, <laughs> uh, let's get in bed. And well, we, we didn't we quite do it that way. We had to. We were, we were getting paid to, to no, do the, this. No, the thing. characters had to get in bed. I, <laughs> right, our characters. <laughs> not Megan and Dave, not Megan Heidi and Megan and Dave had to get That was the first thing we did as actors together. How much you take your shirt off in bed, but you keep your pants on. How keep does that work? Keep the pants on. Yeah, keep I didn't know either. The pants always stay on. The pants yeah. stay on. Jeans. And what do you, do you have to take off clothes? No, I keep the pants on too and wear a little body stocking. I, I just thought I'd ask questions like we that. Didn't know, we, we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. We asked the same thing, right? Are, is, is the, is, I, I'm, I'm getting into so much trouble here. <laughs> is the cast of Hotel, as we read, really the family that it is, or is that just PR for no, us to consume? No, it's not PR. We, we, we genuinely like each other a lot. And we socialize with each other, and we're very good friends. Both East Coast people, Princeton. New Jersey, right. Concord, Massachusetts. Concord, Massachusetts. <laughs> this is home. I'm Yay. so happy to be back. Have you seen your mother since you've arrived, we sir? Had, we had dinner with Mom laugh, last night. Left last night. night. <laughs> night. <laughs> last night. We laughed, at, yes. At Cafe Budapest. We had a wonderful dinner. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, it was terrific. And uh, Mom said to me last night, she said, you know, be sure to re remind me to tape Hotel because I'm going to be at the Celtics game tonight. <laughs> and I don't want to miss the first ten minutes, so... That's mom. When you come <laughs> back, well, I'm sure when you come back to these local communities, you walk the streets of near Princeton, New Jersey, or Concord, Massachusetts. It must be a peculiar kind of a feeling. You're no longer who you were. Are you or are you? I don't feel any different at all when I go home to South Bound Brook, which is the town I live in. I, you know, I walk down the street. My mom and dad still have their ice cream parlor and, and restaurant, and I still work there. If I go home, my dad will throw me an apron, and I feel the same. I don't, you know, except for the fact that I live in Los Angeles and I'm on TV every week. I feel taller is basically, you know, <laughs> well, basically the only difference, but I, I miss Concord a lot. I mean, it was, it's, a, it's just a beautiful town. I started acting there. Um, my dad put me on the stage there and at the Veterans Building. And it was little, you little, up, little you put me on the stage. He was an actor. He was an actor. He, I saw him do The Crucible at the, at, uh, the Con with the Concord Players and Much Ado About Nothing. And I used to watch him. And then when I was seven, he put me in two with The King and I. Does he still act? No, no. He... Let me ask personal questions on both sides. Heidi Bohe, we talked about this before. No, no, you talked about this openly with me because of your work I with have... the March of Dimes. Yes. You spoke a little bit about your sister with me once yes, when you were in Los Angeles. Yes, I did, Angeles. I remember. Talk mm -hmm. a moment about that, would you, Heidi, please? Um, 
Well, I, we're, we're very close. We're, you know, she's three years younger than I am. Yeah. And um, she goes to a special school in Pennsylvania. And we speak with each other all the time, and it's a very special relationship. What exactly is her situation? She is mildly retarded. Mildly retarded. Uh -huh. And that, that's a big part of the reason why I do work for the March of Dimes a lot is because I, I always felt like I should be giving something back and doing something, you know, in a business where it's very easy to, to get wrapped up in your own life and your own career and yourself. It's, it's real important to get out there and do something else, you know, for somebody else. That's well said. I wanted to ask you too, Michael, about is it strange, difficult, easy to become an actor? Your father put you on the stage, but you may have surpassed him. You're well known. There's nothing against your dad, no, but you he, are a national star now. Well, and he, uh, I don't know about a national star, but well, you are. You like, are. Yeah, you it's are, it's wonderful. Are. And my dad is really enjoying it, and so is my mom. They've always been very supportive. They thought I was a little crazy. Um, I wanted to be a baseball player or, or, or an actor, and I couldn't hit a curveball, <laughs> so I decided I better become an actor. And uh, I, uh, they've always been supportive of that. And it's it's very fortunate because it's a very difficult profession. There's a lot of ego beating that goes on. I mean, it's, Hotel certainly isn't the first job I auditioned for in LA, and uh, it's a very tough life. We've been very fortunate to be on a series that has run for four years, and uh, very grateful for that. And very quickly, a wish for the future for both of you. Heidi, personal or professional? Gee, that's real hard. I, I, go first. You go first. I, I don't start. know. I, I'll go first. Go my, my, you know, if you asked me last week, I would have said for the Patriots to make it back to the Super Bowl. Uh, and so this week, it's uh, for the Celtics to, uh, to uh, win the world championship again. Fear not. Fear not, fear not. sir. Heidi? I just, I, I don't know. It's, it's real hard. I, you know, I just, world I want to be I a happy. Were, no, no, I, I'm not uh, doing a Miss America okay. speech here. Just, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> just for, you know, me to continue being happy. And my family, health, and... Good terrific. health. And we wish you terrific, terrific health and good luck. And particularly delighted about these four episodes. Yeah. I think it's so good. So are we. To, it says, uh, it, we're, trying, we're just trying to say in the four episodes that it can happen to anyone and that there is help. And you can get off drugs once you've started. I'm very glad you're doing it. Hi, Mom. She's watching. <laughs> She's watching.